Hello, uh, so welcome to the third series of the auto layout, the tutorial series. Uh, so we were left in the second tutorial where we uh, learned about the various uh, uh, trailing leading bottom top locking of height width of the UI view and we just made a add move type of a pink view here so that this is scaled uh, with the width in all the iPhones and uh, uh, with, with the landscape and both the portrait modes. So this is absolutely working fine. Now we need to make some more layout so that we can learn more on the auto layout. Okay, just uh, okay, just uh, just delete uh, this one and keep this one. No issues. And I'm going to take another view here. Give it a color as uh, red and another view and give it a color as green. Okay, fine. So we have uh, made these two views and uh, we can see that in iPhone 3.5 and iPhone 4 inch these are perfectly placed uh, the way that we want it here because the width as you know the 3.5 and the 4 inch have the same 320 width but what happened with the 4.7 and the 5.5 width so uh, what we want actually we can have uh, we can do we can uh, crack this problem with two solutions I'm going to show all the solutions with how can we make the layout and, and the better way you like you can use that way so first of all uh, let's uh, fix the width and height of these two views so the width and height are fixed now and now I'm going to give a leading space and the top space of this view and the green view the trailing space and the top space so this way the problem can be fixed and uh, but there is some uncertainty like the the view has a smaller size in 4.7 and 5.5 and we will uh, you know uh, make the solution later of this so uh, there are some more ways we don't give a top layout here and what we do we give a we just drag uh, right click and drag from this view to this view and we give a top here what happened they this told us that the top of this view should be the top of this view and that, that is a constraint here so suppose we uh, you know drag this view to the down the four pixel down and update the constraint so what happened here we need to update this constraint too as this is the top layout okay so this is fixed the top layout is fixed here and but uh, uh, I'm sorry to say top layout is 30 uh, sorry uh, from this view the top the, 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 the align to top is equals to 4 here so what do you need to do the align to top uh, as we move down this align to top also increased so just update again the constraints and this align to top is now increased to I think 7 or 6 yeah it's 7 now so this view this green little view is at the top from you know this this green little view is uh, uh, aligned with this red little view uh, where it told that just go seven top there and put a constraint here so in order to uh, fix this you just keep edit here and make a zero and it will come down so this is one of the way where you can uh, modify the constraints here and you can uh, always see uh, what are the constraints associated with uh, these two particular views and you can edit make a edit in this two uh, these values too uh, suppose uh, uh, suppose we want uh, this view uh, this green view should be uh, f at the top with uh, two pixels up like uh, it was uh, it was uh, uh, for seven before so what do we do we need a four and it will automatically uh, shifted four pixel upwards from the red little view from the top layout so these are some of the ways we can have some fun with these auto layout but uh, 
there are some more things what we can do we can uh, we, we have uh, put a uh, this uh, trailing little thing to this screen view we just delete this what happened this view is <laughs> extremely uh, went to the left of this so in order to fix it we just give a horizontal spacing from this view so this told us that uh, the green view and the red view should have a horizontal spacing of 28 when you click on this constraint the horizontal spacing it's 28 let's make it 35 we'll move further let's make it as 100 so it's out of the screen uh, in the 3.5 or 4 inch so uh, here we can use something better uh, so that these two views are always of same uh, proportion in both the uh, you know in, in, in all the iPhones and all the dimensions of the iPhones so we can have some uh, fun with these constraints and uh, th these horizontal spacing and vertical spacing are very important constraint where it states that that the horizontal spacing means that space between these two labels uh, is uh, 28 degree okay so it's fine for 4 inch it's fine for uh, the 3.5 inch but what happened uh, is with 4.7 and 5.5 inches really clear so what you need to do just clear the constraints of this see uh, in the last tutorial what the problem arise that if I clear the constraint of this uh, particular view the constraints of the other view also get distorted of this uh, image view so let us do it uh, manually like the constraints and just delete that sometimes it happens in Xcode that when you are deleting some of the constraints of a particular view uh, it deletes the constraints of some other views too anyways so what will we do we will use something called uh, equal width or uh, equal height so that these two are ob or you know every time these two are placed with a particular accuracy and uh, a particular horizontal distance and maintained with the views so how will we do that let's put a top constraint first and the leading constraint so far so good we will lock the height of this only the height of this okay now we will take the second view and we will put a trailing constraint we will take a we can use a top constraint and also we will fix the height it's perfectly done now we will give the horizontal spacing and we will give one more constraint that is equal width see what happened there it maintained somewhat uh, expect ratio and uh, in each of the device uh, it maintained the same hierarchy and it told that uh, we will keep away from each other and will be horizontally spaced of with 28 as a constraint and this property the trailing view property is also followed the leading view property is also followed this means that this view will be uh, in every case in every dimension will be 14 from left this view will be always 18 from right the trailing part and these two views will be separated from 28 in every single device and every single dimension so you can see that in 4.7 inch this dimension is actually increased the view width is increased so I, I put a equal width check so suppose I increase the view of the, uh, the width of this uh, red view so the width of this screen view have to be increased along with that suppose I keep a 131 so what I need to do uh, I, I just uh, have to update the constraints and now the width is 131 and the constraint is now 27 between them as the height is uh, I'm sorry as the width of the uh, red view is increased to a single pixel single inch so these this way we can have some you know kind of stuff so this is the iPhone 6 screen and when we will rotate it you can see that 
these views are always uh, maintaining the hierarchy of the horizontal spacing as uh, uh, I think it's uh, 15, 16, 17, I don't know and the leading space of 14, the trailing space of 18 so the horizontal distance of I think uh, 27 yeah the horizontal distance of 27 so this is basically the equal width ratio where we have just told the two views that these two always will remain as uh, the equal width with each other with some particular constraints so you can have you can have another solution for that uh, what you'll do you just uh, uh, delete this and uh, you can have a you can have a width lock too have a width lock yes so it's maintained here but what happened here the space is you know this constraint is not at all uh, you know followed here because we have already given the horizontal spacing constraint that the two views should be 27 away from each other so if I delete this horizontal constraint then the two views will be separated apart from each other and will follow the leading and trailing uh, the trailing uh, constraint is now followed so you can have the the, the UI which the the company demands or which your boss demands you can make a particular UI of that where you can use uh, any of these the equal width constraint or the the separator the horizontal separator where you can have a view like this and it will be maintained in like this and will look like uh, this in landscape mode so the two views are maintained here and uh, you can have some fun out there with these type of uh, things and layouts it all depends on what you want and what you need to do that so this is basically the stuff regarding with the equal width and we will in the next tutorial we will see how to uh, make uh, use of this equal height equal width and the expect ratio part and we will design some more UIs thanks for watching we will see you in the next tutorial thank you